Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video I want, to, I want to show you how to install a custom recovery, a custom ROM and a vendor image if you want to on your Google Pixel device. Let's get started. First of all you need to download some files. We need to download platform tools. That's the ADB and the FESPO tools. You need the kernel, the ROM, TWRP both TWRP files and the van image if you don't if you want to. I create a text file for me because it's much more convenient and it doesn't mess with my head. Okay, first of all you need to have the unlock bootloader unless it won't work. Okay, shut down your device, press the power button, shut it down. After you shut it down, press the power and the volume down button together for about 5 seconds. Plug your USB cable in. Your device will show an Android that is laying on his back and on the bottom you can see that the bootloader is unlocked. Okay, good. I create a cmdbat file. It's very simple. Just cmdbat. To open it up, just double click it. It's easier for me to do this. I already done that tutorial but I forgot to record it. I made it three or four times because it's so buggy and it do doesn't and it does not work when I recorded it. Okay. Just type in fast boot devices. Your Google Pixel device should be right here. It should be stand like this. Fast boot. The device is in fast boot mode. Now what you have to do now is you have to boot your Google Pixel device into the recovery. And you use this command, fastboot, boot TWP safelish, you, you copy it right in, press enter, and it should look like that. Now it's in Team Win Recovery. And then you swipe from the left to the right to allow modifications. First of all, you have to make sure that you're on slot B. Click on Reboot, and there should be stand you are on slot B or A. If not, change it to B and continue. And I typed in ADB devices. ADB is needed to transfer files. After that is done, you should transfer a TWRP file onto your Google Pixel. You can do that by this command, ADB push. We pushed the file, a zip file, into the TMP folder because SD card does not work. Did not work for me, so I used the TMP folder. And after that is copied, you install it onto your device. You click on install, go to the TMP folder and install it. After that's installed, go back, 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 reboot and reboot into the recovery. After your device is rebooted into the recovery again, ADB devices should work again and your device should be up here. If not, Shut on your device, click on reboot, shut down, go into fastboot again, plug it in, boot on TWRP and ADB devices should show up. If not, click on reboot and boot into recovery. I've made it three or five times till it worked. It's unbelievable. Okay, now use, if you need a vendor image, push the vendor image onto your device with this command install it and reboot into recovery again and look at the slots it should be B again okay and then push your pure nexus file that's the ROM that I use onto your device that's some things I tried here the first one is right pure nexus file I copied it into the device you don't need the other files right now you need it later and after it's copied I made a full factor reset and included the data. After that it's done click on install after that boot into the ROM. I've made to boot into the ROM because I can't cannot install the kernel right now. Boot into the ROM. If you are booted into the ROM then 
press the power button and click on go to recovery in the recovery again I looked at my slots for me it was slot A so I thought okay I want to change it to B but B does not work I can I cannot change that to B again so I thought okay let's do it on A and I pushed the kernel onto my device and installed the kernel after that I clicked on reboot and it worked if you want to root your Google Pixel device and use all the kernel features this is for you click on the download link in the description download the SU file the zip file transfer to your smartphone you can also transfer it vi via ADB but you don't have to transfer it to your Google Pixel device and boot into the recovery after that look at re also click on reboot and look at the slots you have here slot A and B for me it wasn't slot A change it to B install the super user file on slot B and then after that's installed click on reboot change it to A again and then click on reboot to system super user will start restarting the phone two to two, three times and you're done you've completely rooted your device yeah that's the easy guide for you to flash a custom ROM onto your Google Pixel device I don't know why it's so messed up and so complicated I don't know why I tried that <laughs> three four five times to get this working and to make this tutorial I hope you guys liked that video give this video a thumbs up leave it in the comments if it worked for you and I see you guys in the next video bye